Hey, Scott Austin here from Jade Puma. In this video, I want to show you a customization that I've done for the store I'm working on, Rhino Power, um, with Judge Me and customizing the Judge Me stars to map to the brand of Rhino Power. So I have Judge Me as the review app in this store like I do for most stores that I work on. Here you can see the stars are uh, displayed normally. But on the product page, and I display them normally on the product page in, in the big widget, um, but in the preview widget, the one up at top, I actually changed the stars to be little rhino icons. Um, you can see here this, their, you know, the rhino silhouette head there. Um, and we use that icon in a couple places. For example, I have it here in the footer right here by their um, hashtag. Um, so I also added that to the Judge Me Review Stars. I didn't want to put it everywhere because I didn't want Rhino, 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 you know, heads everywhere and overdo it. So I just added it in this one placement inside of the Judge Me widgets. Um, so it doesn't show on the review page, on the home page, and lowered out just here. And this is actually pretty easy to do with just a few lines of CSS. So let me show that to you. Um, first thing I did is I created PNG files. You need three of them for Judge Me reviews. And Judge Me calls them on, off, and half, right? So the solid one here is, you know, when the full star is, is in effect. And we've got the off one when it's not in effect, and then the half one, obviously. So let me show you what one of those looks like here on the front end. I'm trying to remember one, I think, let's go here to the all reviews page and find one, a product that has four stars. And I th think, that this one does, yeah. So here you can see it's got four rhinos and then one silhouetted rhino because that, that Judge Me star is set to off. Now if it was a four and a half star review, then there'd be the half rhino showing up there. So you wanna create three different images I made them PNG images. Now, because they're images, they're, you, know, you can't change the color using the Judge Me settings. So you're gonna have to set your colors that you want in the PNG files when you create them. If you wanna change the color, you'll create new PNG files and replace them. And then if we go into our edits, so here I have a Jade Puma, I add to every store my own CSS file where I put all my CSS changes, and I make that a liquid file. And that way, I can add liquid code to this CSS that gets processed on the server side, right, by the Shopify servers. So it, right you know, here I have some uh, CSS code for file image URL, and that way I don't have to spell out the full path that those images are on. Um, I can just say, hey, the image name is this, go find it, you know, the full file image URL, get the... 50 pixel version of that image and put that whole URL in here um, for the CSS code. So that's why I create um, a liquid file for my CSS under my assets folder in my theme so that I can use some liquid in that. Now another option could have been, I could have added the CSS in, in the flex theme at least in the online store 2.0 version in the custom CSS section uh, for, for the uh, product information. But if I did that, I can't use liquid, right? So that's why I like to put it in its own CSS file in the theme and do the settings there. So it's just these five lines of CSS. What we have here is we're taking those images we made and we're making them the background image behind the, the span that the stars are, are held in. So that's why we've got three of them, you know, one for on, one for off, and one for half. And you can see the Judge Me classes are on, off, and half. And then I add a little bit of padding to the last star because the layout works better that way. Um, and, you know, talking about the layout, here you'll see my, my images are actually rectangles, um, not uh, squares, even though the stars look squares. When I put the backgrounds in, it worked better with rectangles. And those, let's go here and find them for you. Let's 
show you the aspect ratio that I used for my images. So here you can see I did 128 by uh, 100 um, size on the images. And then this line here, what it does is it takes the stars and makes them opacity of zero, so they're transparent. So it just hides the stars, right? And you can see in, in this CSS, I start each one off with the dot product app um, class, and that's because this element here, this judge me element um, here, starts with that CSS class. If I had not started with that class, it would have changed the backgrounds in other places also. But I, like I said, I wanted it just up here in the preview badge. So that's how you can uh, get custom icons to show up in your judgment reviews. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching.